Now, we are entering chapter number 2. So, in chapter number 2, we will discuss about the flow rate inside a pipe. So, uh, before we go further about that uh, condition, so I would like to uh, uh, refine your uh, understanding about the pressure drop and losses in pipe. So, when water or fluid flows in a pipe, for example, from point a to point B here. So pressure drop will occur due to the energy loss. So the energy loss here means the major and minor loss. So I think, uh, I hope you still remember the equation for the minor loss and major loss that you learned in fluid mechanics 1. So uh, uh, the, the Bernoulli equation that uh, reflect the major loss and minor loss can be written like this one. So we have the P uh, A over rho G plus B A square over 2 G and plus Z A. So must be equal to what happened in B, P B over rho G plus B B square over 2 G plus Z B. And then we plus dk b square over 2g plus f l over d b square over 2g. So the k b square over 2g here will reflect the minor loss. Okay, so and then the the equation of f l over d v square over 2g will reflect the major losses okay i hope uh, you you may uh, do some uh, revision for this idea okay so to simplify this one normally people will uh, use the idea of because the diameter of pipe is remain the same so means that the velocity for a and b is equal so means that we could neglect we could cancel off the value of b square over 2g because it will give us the same value. So and then uh, normally the, we, uh, the pipe is at the same height so means that the potential energy here also can be neglected. So actually the pressure drop, the pressure drop means if you bring the, the pressure here to the uh, left hand side so it will be Pa minus Pb divide by rho g and then it is equal to total losses. So that's why uh, when you work in uh, SAJ for example or anything or anywhere that uh, focus on flow in pipe, so they will talk about the pressure drop. So the pressure drop is actually uh, the, the losses that occur inside the pipe. So we they, they don't call the major loss and minor loss because major loss and minor loss is actually uh, the, the very basic uh, fundamental idea of this one. Okay, so in normally engineers in real site, they will say as uh, pressure drop. So the advantage uh, by using the idea of pressure drop is you could measure the pressure. So that's why uh, if you see in uh, pipeline, they will always uh, a flow meter here or a pressure gauge. So means that they will know what amount of pressure here and what amount of pressure here then they could calculate the pressure drop. So they must maintain uh, the flow uh, up to certain amount of pressure to make sure that water could flow to the end of the pipe. Okay, so this is the idea of pressure drop in a, a flow in pipe. Okay, so and then uh, this is the, uh, as I said, the major loss. So and then uh, I hope you still remember we have FLD V square over 2G. Okay, and then for this one, okay, the value of F here is actually need to be uh, measured. So it's uh, uh, defined into two groups. One, if the lamina is flow, uh, if lamina, if the flow is lamina, so if the flow is lamina, so we could calculate the value of F here is equal to 64 over Re. Okay, so I hope you could remember this, but usually the flow is not lamina because uh, we will, uh, the, the application of this one, we go 
uh, to as big as uh, the the water supply network in your in your home. So means it is it will take might be 10 kilometers long pipe and so on. So that's uh, for sure the, the the condition is not lamina. So means that the possibility for you to calculate using this is almost zero. But for your information, if the lamina the, if the flow is lamina, so you could calculate the value of f by using the equation of 64 over the not number. So and then how we get the value of uh, f here is by using the Moody chart. Okay, I think you, you have experience using the Moody chart in Fluid Mechanics 1. You need to calculate the value of Reynolds number and then you need to calculate the uh, roughness uh, ratio here. So, and then uh, we could get the, uh, the value of F from the Moody chart. So, next is the example of the Moody chart. I, okay, so, uh, okay. So before that, so I would like to uh, uh, tell you that mo that Moody chart is actually the the chart that created by using this equation. Okay, so so because this equation is very uh, complicated, so uh, the Colbrook and White equation, uh, the Col Colbrook is a name of a researcher Colbrook. We have White, so we have Darcy. So also, and then uh, they work together actually, and then they come with the Moody chart. So from this equation, the Moody chart was developed. So and then if we look to Moody chart, we will found that it has three region. So which is the lamina, the transition, and also the turbulent. Okay, this is the Moody chart or the Moody diagram. So I think you know how to calculate the value of F. So the F is the friction factor. So this is the F. So we will calculate the value of Reynolds number. Let's say we have the Reynolds number of 10 to the power of 6. So and then uh, we need to calculate the relative roughness. So let's say we have the relative roughness is 0 0.005. So what we need to do is we draw a straight line here until it uh, cross the value of 0 0.005 here. So and then the value of F is the value you, you, you draw a straight line to the left here and then the value is around 0 0.031 or 0.03 so that's the way we calculate the, the value of f so i hope you still remember this one so uh, and then if we see the moody diagram here you will find that it's uh, divided into three regions one is lamina flow so we have a lamina flow here and then we have a transition region so and then we have a complete turbulent in some textbook they will write as fully turbulent so how this region being uh, being uh, divided okay first the lamina flow here is when the resistance is always uh, linear mean it can be predicted easily so that's why we could calculate the value of f by using the idea of 64 divided by Reynolds number and then you know this is a very straightforward uh, a linear uh, a linear graph so it will give a line like this one okay so and then after that if we calculate still uh, calculate the the friction so we found that uh, from this one the, the value is not uh, continue like this but the, the uh, value is actually still unpredictable. Sometimes it will go higher and lower and so on. So means that we, we call this one as the transition region. So the transition region is unpredictable. So because it is the mixture of lamina and turbulence, so sometimes maybe the, the percentage of turbulence is higher compared to the lamina. So sometimes lamina percentage will be higher. Okay, because it is the transition region. So the, the region where the, the lamina start to develop, start to absorb uh, energy, more energy, and then uh, start to flow as a turbulent. 
Okay. And then uh, after that, after certain uh, amount, of, after certain uh, speed, so we could plot the velocity, the, we could plot the uh, friction uh, like this one, like, like this line. Okay. You can, we could plot according to this line. So, and then if we see this line, we will found that at certain point, so the line will give us a constant value. So, for example, here, so the value is quite constant. Okay. So, we put a line here. Okay, we put a line here. So, according to the observation, we will found that up at this region, all the flow is actually in 100% turbulent. That's why uh, we call as complete turbulent. Okay. So this is the region in uh, Moody chart. And then following that, so after we know that we have a, a complete turbulent, so we back to the idea of the friction factor. So we found that, for example, if we have a Renault number here, okay, let's say we have a Renault number, okay, 10 to the power of 5. So, and then we have the 0 0.02 relative roughness. So, we draw a straight line here and then it uh, uh, intersect here and then we could calculate the value of F is, for example, 0 0.025. So, and then if we reduce the velocity, Let's say we go for 10 to the power of 4. So, and then we go straight here. So, we need to intersect with the same line here. And then we found that the value of F is increased, which is 0 0.035. Okay. So, from this idea, we found that if the velocity or the Renault number is increased, so mean uh, we have possibility to reduce the friction. If you could see here, so here the velocity is here, so the value is here, but when the velocity increase and give new uh, Renault number like this one, so the friction is here. So and then after that, after a certain point here, we found that the value of F is actually constant. Why I said constant? Because start from here, to here, okay, at any Renault number, so it will intersect at the same Y value. So means at any point here, so it, it will give a constant value of F. So means that for big uh, flow, so mean if uh, we talk about the, the flow rate of uh, uh, water network, so between two houses or in your uh, two perumahan dan sebagainya. So we will found that the increment of velocity actually will not change the friction. So in this uh, topic, in chapter 2, we will assume that we are dealing with a big or huge pipe which is will give us a very high Renault number. So when the Renault number is high, so means that uh, we could take the value of friction here as a constant. So mean we cannot uh, calculate again and again that what uh, as what you did in fluid mechanics one, because in uh, fluid mechanics one we are calculating about the maybe the water flow uh, inside a pipe for your house. So it just use maybe one or one and a half inch of pipe. So means that the diameter is small. The velocity is small, so means that it will give you a flow in this region. Okay. Okay, now what we learn in this topic is actually we are calculating flow inside this region. Okay, so this is the different, uh, the assumption of uh, our lecture here. So, and then, because... Uh, because the friction is now constant, so means that we could uh, make uh, some assumption. So uh, I neglect this one. This is, uh, you could uh, see my video and then you could snap, snapshot this slide and then you could uh, read by yourself. 
So and then uh, what I want to say here is, uh, so I skip all of this. So, okay, I want to say about the simplification simplification of major loss calculation. Okay, so we know that the equation of major loss here is f is equal l over d v square over 2g. So and then uh, in this topic, because the uh, velocity of inside the pipe is constant, so it is, uh, and then in real application, people will check the flow rate. That's why if you go uh, to SAJ, you will find that they, uh, they have uh, a lot of flow meter in, at their pipes. So means that people, actually engineers, not taking reading uh, about velocity, they are taking the, the reading of flow rate. So means that now, the first step, we change the value of V here into Q. So how to change the V into Q? So we are just using the uh, continuity equation Q is equal a B. So means that we have V is equal Q divided by A. So and then uh, A here is pi D square. So we substitute into the equation so we could get that the V here, V square can be written as 16 Q square divided by pi square and D4 here. So then we substitute the value so we have the losses here is equal l over d v square over 2g so we substitute the v here with this amount so we could get this term so after we get that term we make some uh, evaluation so we have let's say we have that uh, losses hl is equal to f l over d 5, 16 over 2 g pi square and q square. So we will found that all of this value is constant. The length of pipe is constant, diameter is constant, 16, 2 g pi is also a constant. So this is a constant. Then, because we are dealing with a large diameter of pipe, the high velocity, so means that the force and uh, the friction here is constant. So I hope you remember this one. So we have a Moody chart. So we have the, the line there. Okay, we are dealing about, we are talking about what happened in this region. So means that the value here will give us uh, a constant friction value here at any Renault number at the bottom here. So means that we could say all of these term is actually constant. Okay, so because it is constant, so we could replace this term into the new symbol. So we write as capital K. Okay, so as this one. So that's why in this uh, in these topics in this chapter we will use the idea of losses is equal to k times q square so means that now the the friction hf here or sometimes hl losses is equal to k times q square so the q here k is equal to this term so if you don't remember the value of k so you just replace the uh, major loss equation so you replace the value of v here by using the flow rate equation so means that we replace the velocity with the uh, amount with the amount of q with the amount of volume flow rate so and then uh Okay, so we go for uh, major losses in series pipe. So for example, we have uh, three different diameter here. So we have a diameter one and then it increased like this. And then suddenly it uh, reduced into certain one. So for series pipe, 
Okay, because the flow it come from the same source. So means that the flow rate will almost will, will always uh, the same. So means we could write that the, the flow rate at A is equal to the flow rate at B is equal to the flow rate at C. So this is the, the first rule. And then if we talk about the losses, okay, you need to agree that the losses is actually we need to sum all the losses. So mean the losses here will give you certain amount. You need to add with losses at this area and you need to add set losses at this area. So mean the total area can be written as this one, which is the total losses is the losses at A plus B and plus C. So and then if we do the uh, simplified equation, we could write as this one. So means that we could have the, the losses here is Ka plus Kb plus Kc times Q square. Okay, so means that if it, it is a series pipe, so we need to add all the losses in the pipe. So and then we have uh, a parallel pipe, another uh, arrangement of pipe, we call it as parallel. So means that the water comes here at point A here, so they will split into three channels. So and then at point B here, it will merge again and flow as a one flow rate. So here, we you need to understand that the inlet flow rate must be equal to the outlet flow rate so this is inlet this is outlet so mean for sure q in is equal to q out however if we talk about the flow rate at branch number one number two and number three here it's not always the same so the the equation is the total flow rate for one two and three will be equal to the flow rate at inlet will end equal to the flow rate at outlet so you, we need to write like this one so mean the flow rate now you need to add the uh, the flow rate to get the the total flow rate so and then how about the losses so for the losses so we found that because it's split from the same uh, source and then it will merge to the area here so we assume the total losses is same for the for each pipe so we, we need to write the total losses for one is equal to the total losses at two and then it is equal to the total losses at three so yes maybe you you could say that okay the, this pipe is longer to the uh, middle pipe here but uh, the uh, it is its flow as one system so we will found that the the uh, the the system will adjust the the velocity so and in mathematics we still uh, uh, assume that uh, all these three branches has same resistance so and then if we calculate uh, the value of k so we know that h is equal to k k q square so and then uh, we could write down as q is e qa is equal to b qb is equal to q1 plus q2 plus q3 so and then if we substitute the value of uh, square root h and k okay and then we could fa factorize the value so we could get the equation of this one so mean for parallel pipe for example we have a parallel pipe here Okay, if you have one inlet here and then we have three branches so and then it merge again here so means if we need to total up all the friction here we need to use this equation so we have the square root k is equal of square root k1 plus square root k2 plus square root k3 so this is the equation that you need to use to solve the problem if the pipe arrangement is uh, in parallel uh, arrangement. 